All right, we're rolling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Charlie, and Charlie's on the streets of Boston. So I just met him. Charlie's a good cat. He's a published writer. So if you go, I'll, I'll let you talk now, Charlie. Well, you, what did you write? Oh, it's horror fiction. Horror fiction? Yeah, Stephen King kind of stuff. Very cool, man. Very cool. I've met uh, I've met a few writers out here on the street. So, what do you have to say to people that go that will walk by and they'll go, man, I'm not gonna give him money. He's just gonna go buy beer or he's just gonna buy drugs or he's yeah, gonna. See, that's a big thing. Everybody everybody expects that you're uh, just because you're out here. I'm like, I got people come by me all the time asking me where can I get heroin. Right. Right. So where's the liquor store? I don't drink. Yeah, it's, I don't it's just an it's just an assumption. It's a, it's an unfortunate assumption. But what I would tell everybody too is you're only one, you know, maybe not one paycheck, but maybe just a couple of missed paychecks away from the. the same That's situation. right. See, I, I got a thing. I think that one of the reasons people walk by and don't uh, and don't want to encounter you is because it triggers something in them that lets them know that it could be them. It's much easier to give yourself an excuse for walking by than it is to one think that it could be you and another thing to think that you should do something about it. So it's easier to walk by. Well, it's, I don't know if it's man, you made it a man, but what I see all the time is people get, you know, 20, 30 feet away, uh -huh. and they see me whip out their phone, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that happens. I've, I've experienced that one myself. So, um, yeah, like I said, it, it amazes me how upbeat people are yeah. in some of the most dire circumstances. If this was me sitting out on the corner, it'd be easy to get down. So, uh, do you have anything? Do you have any words for 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 us out here that don't have to endure what you're going through? Like, is there anything that you want us to know? Oh, you know, somebody asked me that a couple weeks ago too, but not in the same context. Uh -huh. I'll tell you the same thing I told it. There's a 23 year old Puerto, uh, Puerto Rican kid. Who, he, he just asked me, do you have any uh, advice for uh -huh. a real kid? Right. So I told him the same thing I've been living myself for two and a half years now. No matter what life the universe ever throws at you, it just keeps swinging back. Yeah. You can't stop, can you? You only get... This is the one time you get to have all the experiences you can get. Yeah, that's that's, that's great advice. And you, I see the, the medals on your, on your hat, you're a veteran? Yeah, what uh, what branch of service? You in the army? All right. Well, thank you very much. We pre appreciate your service. Thank you so much. All right. This is Charlie from the streets of Boston, and uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you.